in this challenge if you choose to accept it. You will help the world, especially calculus students of the world, visualize one of the core concepts in differential calculus, and that is the chain rule. And the chain rule is how we think about taking derivatives of composite functions. So just as a little bit of review, and obviously there's a lot more review on the Khan Academy, if we have y as a function of x, and we could even represent that graphically, so let's say it's our y-axis, that is our x-axis, then we could display y as a function of x graphically, so maybe that right there is y is equal to f of x. We know that we can, using tools in basic differential calculus, we know we can find the instantaneous rate of change of y with respect to x. And we can denote it as dy dx, we can denote it as y prime, we can denote it as f prime of x. We also know that maybe x itself is a function of another variable. So let's say that we're going to set it up so that x, let me use a new color here. Let's say that x happens to be a function, let me write it this way, x happens to be a function of a third variable. Let's call that t. So once again, we can draw, let's say this is the x-axis, this is the t-axis, and maybe it looks something like, maybe it looks, who knows what it might look like, maybe, maybe we could look a little bit different than the other one. Maybe it looks something like this. So this is x is equal to g of t. And similarly, we can use differential calculus to come up with the rate of change with respect to not dy, dx. We can come up with the rate of change dx dt, the rate of, at which x is changing with respect to t. We could write that as x prime in this context. Or we could write this as g prime of t. Now, what the chain rule is all about is when we take the composite. If we want to find, so y is a function of x, x is a function of t. So we could write, we could write y is equal to f of, instead of saying x, we could express y as a function of t. So y is a function of x, but x itself is g of t. So instead of an x in here, we're going to write g of t. g of t. And so how do we take a derivative of this? Well, the chain rule tells us, the chain rule tells us that dy, dy dt, the rate at which y will change with respect to t, is equal to the rate at which y changes with respect to x times the rate at which x changes with respect to t. x changes with respect to t. Or if you want to use another notation, we could say, we could say this is equal to this is equal to f prime, f prime, and these can both be expressed as functions of t. So f prime of x of t, or and x of t is the same thing as g of t. So f prime of g of t. So you can kind of view it as the derivative of this outer function, the derivative of this outer function with respect to the inner function times, times, the derivative of the inner function times g prime of t. g prime, g prime of t. So with that little primer on the chain rule, I'm curious to see how people visualize it. I don't want to color people's thinking too much. We want to get cool visualizations, out of the box visualizations. I could imagine many, many people creating very useful visualizations. Some might involve visualizing composite functions, some might come up with completely new novel ways, maybe animations of ways of thinking about visualizing the chain rule.